today we are going to be looking at naughty nautical neighbors followed by boating school wow squidward this is the best souffle you have ever created i grew up with this commodity called spinach souffle and man squidward's souffle looks a heck of a lot tastier pelvic thrust <gasps> wait a sec squidward owns socks at least there's four of them and the apron still has the kiss the squid on it ha <laughs> Wait, wait, let me rewind real quick. Squid has modeled himself as a guitar player, which I guess is cool. Maybe he's just perceiving himself beyond just a Mediocre. clarinet player. That fork still has four prongs. So far, so good, guys. Squid getting ready to feast on his thingy starts to notice his title card mentioned neighbors are already going to be a problem. This is one of my favorite, you know, one-off scenes I remembered as a child. I don't believe we ever see all their backyards used like this again. Probably in the newer episodes as I'm sure the writers had ran out of episode material after 13 seasons. Patrick's really gotta bust out that sweet Kingsford sometime. Hi, Patrick. <laughs> oh. Good thing Squidward learned how to blow bubbles previously. But blowing a message bubble out of a fork is next level. How on earth? Fortune to know. Do you really think that, SpongeBob? Of course, Patrick. Anyone with eyes could see that. Oof. One little misinterpretation is all it takes sometimes. And bam! Ruined friendship. That's kind of how Facebook works. <laughs> hey, Patrick. I heard there was a job opening down at the pet shop. As some newspaper. That joke was actually gold. I'm writing that down. You're a turkey! Squidward is terrible, man. Who does this? Let's hope this doesn't backfire on him or anything. That audio panning though, whoa. Yo, Nickelodeon IMAX wants their episode back. How Patrick's rock hinge breaks off is awesome. I back it up. This is super accurate choking. When someone's choking, they can't cough or yell for help, which most movies and TV shows totally get wrong. I learned this from a first aid course, for the record. Whoa, Squidward, you're choking! I know what to do, but I should wash my hands first. Oh well. That's also pretty accurate. Adult humor joke? I think yes. Yeah, e minor, all right, yeah. Oh yeah, this thing is from this episode. The gang's all here. Oh, oh, oh my back! Don't worry, Squidward, I'm coming. Squidward threw out his neck as well. How did that even happen? Spongebob informs Squidward that he's been playing Bassinet for years! Which, uh, yeah, this is actually what a bassinet is. I didn't know what a bassinet was. Give me an A, buddy! I kinda wish I still had my clarinet from band class. I would test it out to see if this note is accurate. Give me an A, buddy! Squidward is my best friend! What's Patrick more than Spongebob? I guess these windows open from the inside now. What's the matter, Squidward, old buddy? Oh! How are they reaching these windows? Uh, ha, ha, so this is what I find, huh? My best friend and my ex-best friend and rubber toys! This episode is teeming with these wild failed relationship references. The writers knew a good majority of parents watching along would be rolling their eyes. Oh, how about some soda, guys? Yes, please! What kind of plan was that? Drink your buddies to death in hopes they make amends? Uh, well, I guess that usually does the trick in real life, right? I think he's jealous. How pathetic. Oh, my 
fact. And with a single bubble, Squidward's actions come full circle, concluding with an 80% reused audio clip from before. Well, I'd say Squidward learned a valuable lesson today. I'm sure he didn't plan on having his house explode from bubbles. I'm going to guess that the structure was damaged in the previous episode. This is yet another great example of karma coming full circle for the Squidster. Time for boating school. Why Spongebob's alarm sounds so weird in only this episode? It's the normal note from the pilot episode that we continue to hear throughout the series, but not this episode. Also, I should point out the clock totally changes its loom and time. It goes from 8 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And the button is gone. And you know what's so special about this calendar? It's... Yup, yup, it's from 1999! This is why I do this, guys. Holy shit! As a kid, I was obsessed with the boating school course. It looks so awesome. Well, pal, I won't be needing you anymore. That guy failed. Hey, I'm getting my next! Hey, I doubt it! Here we can see Mrs. Puff already knows who this sponge is, so we can infer Spongebob has been here at least a few too many times. Unfortunately, this circular window frame changes colors, but that's the least of our worries. Spongebob absolutely crushes the oral exam, but as soon as he gets behind the wheel... Okay, Spongebob, what's the first thing you do? 1924? No. It? No! No, no, don't! Floor it! Okay, floor it! No! 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 Oh, that panning. Yeah. Why are all these fish spectating? Maybe that's part of boating school, but we just never really get to see it in any other episodes. Hopefully they didn't just get crushed by the lighthouse. I think Fred did, because this is the first episode my leg appears in. I've already taken it 37 times. Okay, 38. 38 times and Mrs. Puff hasn't banned him. She must be desperate for income and also have really good health insurance. SpongeBob, this is Star Ranger. Over. What is it, Patrick? The efficiency of SpongeBob's closet slide is remarkable. The way he keeps a straight face during this, you know for a fact he does this routine frequently. I think the animators missed a pixel when filling in this door and painted over the gold doorknob accidentally. Until I get behind the Thinking straight is what I do! Oh really, Patrick? Are we sure about that? Well, he did know how to resuscitate Squidward, so... I digress. Boat 18. It's the same one as last time. And that thing was totaled! Mrs. Puff has some damn good commercial insurance, too. Wow. Oh! Here comes Mrs. Puff! Act natural! Mrs. Puff spawns in with the helmet still on, and Spongebob offers his apple sacrifice. Blink and you'll miss it, that window frame is back to silver. But the door is brown now! But it didn't drive! <laughs> then what? For it? No! Ah, no! Freeze, mister! Oh, oh. Big toe! Patrick actually does a tremendously good job helping Spongebob navigate the boating school track. Was that an ollie? I love the sparks when they land. This is way before the Fast and the Furious, by the way. It's gotta be a Dukes of Hazard reference. <laughs> it's Fred! He actually did get crushed by the lighthouse! We all know what happens next. By some stroke of luck, Mrs. Puff accurately guesses exactly what Spongebob is up to. Notice how Mrs. Puff briefly checks ahead of their boat? That's a true driving instructor. What? <laughs> the window! No! Mrs. Puff, I think I cheated. My leg! <laughs> oh, this is just the beginning, folks. I never noticed both of the leg sound bites were played at the two lighthouse crashes. That's freaking amazing. The background art between this scene and an earlier scene are actually different. Although I think they could have gotten away with reusing it. The dumpster is gone, which may have been purposely left out. For when Spongebob says, Only now I don't even have my bike. Gary! My bike! Aww, that's adorable. Let's just say it's a miracle Spongebob didn't pass his boating test. There's already enough maniacs on the road, I would know. I grew up in Massachusetts. The way this episode left the door open is great because we can expect there to be more boating school related episodes in the future. 
And man, there are some good ones to come. Where did I go wrong? With the opening of my new boating school, I pledge that as long as a student is willing to learn, I shall never give up. Hi, I'm SpongeBob SquarePants. Take it easy, everybody. I'll see you later.